The rain began to fall just as the men took to the pontoon for the Tios Varos World Cup. But few could have predicted quite what was going to follow. Matthew Sharp of Canada had been the top ranked athlete after the semi finals. But Francis Aurelien Rafael enjoyed yet another good swim to come out of the water first, just ahead of his teammate, Anthony Pujares. The umbrellas were still going up as the athletes made it through to their bikes in T1. Russia's Igor Polyansky and Norway's Jorgen Gundersen also very well placed. Pujad began to push hard in order to try and avoid the inevitable confusion that the rain would create among a large group behind him. Further behind, the Hungarian duo of Tots and Bicztak were still in contention. But it was Matthew Sharp who would close in on Pujad as the deluge really began to take hold. Six laps in, and with the rain beginning to turn to hail, the race referee simply had no choice but to abandon the race for the safety of the athletes and spectators alike. As the winds began to take hold, the decision's merit became even more clear. Sadly for the athletes, there was no way that the action was going to be resumed. The main priority uh, for us for this event or any event is the safety of the athletes. Um, the extreme weather conditions made it impossible to carry on. The rain started. With the rain, they could, we could have managed with some rain. But when it started turning to hailstones, thunder and lightning, it, and the barrier started blowing over, it, we just could not carry on with the race. Their safety was then put, going to be put at risk and we weren't willing to do that.